Hi my dear students, first of all I welcome you to my online class. Today we are going to learn a new poem, Rain on the Roof, from the High Textbook Man Standard. Rain on the Roof, it is raining on the rooftop, that is poem says. The poem was written by Course Kin. Course Kin. Let us introduce about poet. He was born 24th November 1826. He was passed away or died 25 January 1904. He was an American lawyer and a politician, journalist, and a poet. His famous poem was Rain on the Roof. The poet expressed, now the season is monsoon. It is the best time to learn this poem. Just before starting our chapter, just you imagine our life experience when, right, when the rain comes on the rooftop. What thoughts comes to your mind? It is the poet describes through these lines. Let's move on the poem. First stanza. When the human shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness generally weeps in rainy tears, what a bliss to press the pillow of a cocktail charm of birds and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain of our heart. This is the first stanza. Let's check the unfamiliar words and means humid. Humid means moisture. Hover means move around something, move around or move here and there. Starry spheres, here where the star appears, that is called starry spheres, that is sky. Melancholy, sad. Bliss means happy or happiness. Cottage chamber, that means bedroom or room. Patter means sound of rainbows. Let's learn line by line explanation. When the humid shadows hover, the poet says that when the humid shadows hover, humid shadows means moisture, cloud, hover over all the starry spheres that means a black cloud are there in the sky and the melancholy darkness that sad darkness is there gently weeps in rainy tears gently weeps that means it starts raining first a black cloud is there that cloud starts raining. What a bliss to press the pillow. This line you just imagine. What a happy to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed. Poet is there in bedroom bed. Bedroom. What a happy to press the pillow. When we are lying in bed, pillow is there at the raining time. We just pressing the pillow and just lying. What a happy moment is there. And lying listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead. Poet is lying on the bed and also how listening to the patter. Patter means the sound of rain on rooftop. Of the soft rain overhead means above. He is listening the sound of rain and he is lying on bed and what a happy moment he is there. That is why it says us. Just to think our life. This is monsoon season. Now every day is raining is there. In this moment we are lying in our own bed. What a happy moment when we are lying the sound of rain is coming. How you feel, what you feel. 
that the poet says. Next stanza. Every jingle on the shingles has an echo in the heart, and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start, and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof. As I listen to the patch of the rain upon the roof, we can check the unfamiliar word and meanings. Here, jingle jingle means sound of rain falling. Shingles means rooftop or rectangular wooden tiles used on the roof. That means uh, rooftop where is a tile that one. Dreamy fancies means imaginative things. Recollections means memories, memories of the past. Move means left, that means a roof that day. Let's uh, learn line by line explanation. Every jingle, it is writing. The poet is lying on the bed. We have, first stanza we learn that he is lying on the bed and he already said that what a happy moment to press the pillow. I am lying on the bed at the time of what at the time of rainy and at the time of rainy there is a jingle. Jingle means rain sound on the rooftop. That day has an echo in his heart. Poet's heart, there is an echo. So many ideas come. A thousand dreamy fancies, a number of a thousand imaginative things also brings in his mind. To into busy beings, that busy beings means mainly human being, here poet himself. Poet starts. A thousand recollection, a thousand recollections, a thousand memories. We were there, air press into both. His memory comes like a threads of woman across the room. Like that, his memory is coming. His past memory is coming into his mind when he listens. To the patcher of the rain upon the roof. When it is raining, the sound of rain, the rain falling and the raindrops falls on the rooftop, and that sound brings many ideas to the poet, like weaving in the loop. That poet means this dancer. Poet is lying on the bed and he listens to the sound of rain. That sound brings many ideas into, or past memories into his mind. What type of past memories? Let's check it next time. Last stanza. Now in memory comes my mother. As she used in years ago to regard the darling dreamers, uh, she left them till the dawn. Oh, I feel her form on me as I list to the to this refrain, which is played upon the shingles by the pattern of the rain. Tell Sir Kamala Bonami. Here a god, a god means by god or ego or past. Regard means concept. Oh, that is a old usage of before. Refrain. Refrain means the sound of fright. Here list. List just means lesson. That is a old usage of lesson is list. Let's learn like by learn explanation. Now in memory comes my mother. In the second stanza, we discussed the poet taught many things. So many ideas come to his mind. The main thing that memory comes is mother. She used it years ago. She used it to be have years ago. To regard the darling image, she is considered him as darling. Uh, she loved them till the dawn. 
now she has no longer with him she already has a new oh i feel her fond look on me even now the poet feel fond look mother look good very well him that also that is acute looking also he feel now as i waste the this refrain when he listen to this sound of music which is played upon the singles that the sound is there on the singles singles means a rooftop by the pattern of the rain when the rain comes or it is raining that the rain drops is there on rooftop that the sound that the sound brought to his mind to his mother he thought many things many important things is his mother and his past experience when we learn this poem what is the central theme of the poem the central theme of the poem is the healing power of rain the healing power of rain we are very busy in these days we are overworked the musical quality when we now rainy season now so uh, rain is it is raining outside that your musical quality of rain has the ability to revive all our memories and it will remove all our tension it brings our good or best experiences in our life that poet remember or express or conveys through this poem to us i hope you all got idea about the poem if you have any doubt please contact me let me stop now thank you have a nice day